Happy Friday, Calvary. It's Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And uh, we are just a little over one week away from offering live services again at our Sweetwater campus. Uh, and, and if you've been uh, paying attention, uh, this is our last online only weekend that we're heading into. And then starting next week, May 30th, 31st, we're gonna be offering services at our Sweetwater campus at five on Saturday and eight, nine, 30, 11 on Sunday, as well as all of the online options you're currently enjoying. I hope you will show up and, and enjoy whichever worship experience you choose at this time. Uh, hey, we're continuing our study in 1 John, and we're in chapter two, just looking at a few short verses in the middle of this chapter, verses 12 through 14. And before I read this, has anyone ever said to you something like this? Grow up. You are so immature. I know it's been said to me throughout the years uh, at different points and by different people, and sometimes it was true, and sometimes it was just a false accusation. But uh, we know that there is a maturation process, and that's kind of what the Apostle John is talking about in this passage today. So listen in as I read this. John says, I am writing to you, little children, because your sins are forgiven for his name's sake. I am writing to you fathers because you know him who is from the beginning. I am writing to you young men because you have overcome the evil one. I write to you children because you know the father. I write to you fathers because you know him who is from the beginning. And I write to you young men because you are strong and the word of God abides in you and you have overcome the evil one. See, John's re referring to a spiritual growth process. Now, we all know that, that physical growth has a natural maturation process. You're born, you're helpless as a baby, you grow up into a child, teenager, young adult, and then uh, an old adult, and then you die. So you grow up and you grow old. That's the normal process. And if something gets in the way to stop that process, it's a tragedy. If a child doesn't develop, then uh, they have a deformity, an abnormality, they're sick. Uh, if you don't make it to growing up or growing old, then it's a tragic death that has occurred and people say he died too young or, or she was so young. So we know that there is a natural process to grow up and grow old. Well, spiritually, there's a natural process as well. God wants us to grow up and grow wise. And he expects us to make progress on this journey. And in fact, in this passage, the Apostle John identifies uh, some markers of spiritual maturity. He, he kind of breaks it down into three categories. First of all, he talks about little children or spiritual babies, if you will. And he says, you're a spiritual baby uh, if you know that you're saved. If you know that you've experienced that life-changing relationship with Jesus, your sins are forgiven, you know that heaven is your destiny, then you're in that category of a little child. And by the way, here at Calvary, we love babies and little children. We love them physically. That's why we have an early childhood wing. That's why we invest so much in Calvary Kids. Uh, we love your kids. We also love them spiritually. Because every time someone comes to faith in Jesus Christ, every time we celebrate a baptism where someone is declaring that they're a follower of Jesus publicly, we are celebrating new birth. See, uh, we want Calvary to be a maternity ward for new believers coming to faith in Jesus, being born spiritually as babies. So we love spiritual babies. And then... John talks about spiritual teens, if you will. And what's the marker for those young adults uh, in, in Christ? He says they're tough, they fight against temptation, and, and they know the scriptures, they abide in the word. I love that, they're tough. They, they kind of have a defiant attitude against Satan, against the evil one. They've overcome, they're fighting against the temptation. They're not just giving in, they're not just weak in that, they're, they're, they're defiant. A lot of you really don't appreciate your teen's defiance. Can I just tell you that when my girls hit teenage years, I actually told them, I'm okay with you defying anybody except God. I, I'm, I'm good with that. And, and uh, we want to be proud of those who take a stand for Christ no matter the consequences. And he says, they abide in my word. They know the truth. You're not going to overcome the evil one unless you know the truth anyway. But they've made scripture a part of their lives. So you've got the, the babies, you've got the teens, and then he talks about the spiritual parents. Those are the ones who walk with God, who are full of wisdom and are full of grace and full of faith. These are the people that others turn to for that spiritual counsel, for that spiritual direction. 
the, the ones that, uh, that others ask, how can I grow up as well? So um, here's the thing. The point isn't to try to assess where you are on this journey. It's definitely not to try to figure out where your friends are on this journey or your spouse is. The point is this. Do you see that you are growing up in Christ? Are you growing old and wise in your faith? Uh, it doesn't matter when you started. It doesn't matter uh, how long you've been doing this. What matters is, do you see growth happening? Are you getting closer to Jesus? Are you overcoming temptation more? Or are you walking with God? Um, see, the sad thing is, as, as someone who grew up in church all my life, um, I've seen a lot of Christians, people who call themselves followers of Jesus, who might have been Christians for 20, 30, 40 years, and were still spiritual babies. Uh, that's a tragedy. That is not spiritual health, and, and we don't want that to happen to anyone. We want you to grow up and grow wise in Jesus. And, and if you want some help in doing that, all of the pastors on staff here at Calvary would love to help you on your spiritual journey. Uh, please call and make an appointment. We're doing face-to-face -face appointments again, uh, and uh, if you're not comfortable with that, we'll do Zoom appointments. We're fine either way, but we would love to help you figure out how you can grow up in Christ. Uh, by the way, all the things that we do are there to help you grow up in Christ. The reason that we get excited about worship, whether it's online or in person, is because worship help, helps us to mature in Christ. Life groups, uh, surround yourself with other people who love Jesus and help you grow up in Christ. Uh, serving others. You're not going to figure out how to grow up until you figure out how to serve. Reading scripture. You heard it. it it's part of that maturation process. You got to know the truth so the truth can set you free. Uh, we, as your pastors, want to see you grow up and grow wise in Jesus, and we would love to help you do that. So, so all you have to do is ask. Guys, uh, let's not have anyone challenge us spiritually to ever grow up. Let's all grow up because we love Jesus. Have a great day. We'll see you this weekend.